Welcome back to Recharge. Dr. Gene Chirakovad here with Dr. Corey Howe. That's you. That is me. That is you. Happy another golf video, friends and golfers. It is so nice outside. It's so nice outside. I feel like we couldn't not make another golf video yeah. today. We should probably be outside making this golf video. <laughs> yes. But we are going to be golfing a good bit this weekend. Yeah. You and I. Yeah. We have uh, a full round Saturday morning, yep. half a round Sunday morning. We played, um, let's call it a practice round, <laughs> based on how we played um, last week. But I was on vacation, so yeah, I have an excuse. I was away for a week. Uh, the way I see it, if you can take one positive from every round, that's true. Um, and you birdied the final hole. I did. So that was great. I did. Stuck a par three about two and a half feet out from the yeah. pin. That's cool. You know, the only thing running through my mind at that time was, don't miss the putt. Don't miss the putt. <laughs> yeah. Don't miss the putt. <laughs> and I did not miss the putt. You did not miss the putt. It was awesome. So today, let's talk about this because we're physical therapists, right? We, we're always thinking about how can we best optimize the human body and golf in particular. And that's golf performance to us. We've said this countless times in these videos. If you want a better golf swing, get a golf coach. Uh, but if you want your body to hold up during a round of golf, multiple rounds of golf, a golf season or the entirety of your golf career, then that's where we come in. Um, but one thing, one simple thing that we do when we play, not as often as we should, because we're that's like life. everybody else, yeah. But that's what this video is about, is trying to um, give you a, the most bang for your buck for a quick warm up for, for a golf round. Exactly. Um, yeah, because we don't always have an hour before our round to go out and uh, you know hit a bucket of balls and and um, do an extensive warm up. So sometimes we get to the course and we got to go. So yeah, what can you do right before your first tee shot to help prepare your body for that round? Correct. Now let's say you're playing golf with a bunch of your friends and you don't want to be that one weirdo that's doing like a ten minute full body warm up around <laughs> the tee box and everyone's looking at their clock like, come on, we got to go. Yeah, and yes, it's good for you and it'll probably feel better. Uh, but even on the driving range, if you get there early and you want to prep your body, which is ideal to hit some some practice balls, um, even before hitting those practice balls, you could warm up a little bit as well. So that's what we're going to show you today is one exercise that will take you a couple minutes to do and will really serve as a great warm up for your shoulders, for your trunk. Um, very simple to do. doesn't take a ton of time. And um, you should integrate that right before you tee off or before you take practice swings. Plus, so, it'll look like you'll know what you're doing because you're like, oh, wow, that's a, that's a great That warm-up. looks really yeah. good. It is a bonus. It does feel good, too. Yeah. So th that's a nice bonus that when you warm up, it's actually feeling good in the moment. So how about we show them our, our one, one exercise, one warm-up, cool. shall we? Yeah. So let's do it. Here we go. Before we show you this warm-up, <laughs> go ahead, hit subscribe. Ooh. Make sure to hit subscribe and hit like, and then the video will secretly and automatically keep going. It'll be like <laughs> magic. Plus, I think uh, for those of you who are, who are subscribed, the warm-up improves your game by like 50% definitely. more if you are uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel. So, definitely, definitely. Yeah. And if it didn't, it has nothing to do with us. That's <laughs> completely on you. Um, all right, let's get into the, the one warm-up. So first of all, let's talk through what are the things we want to warm up with this, with this exercise before we show it to them. Um, we are looking at shoulders, trunk, and hips. Yep. Kind of the, the three main body parts that we are... Um, Trying to prepare our body for the golf swing. Those, I would say, those are the three main uh, components to a golf swing. Our arms have to come back into the into the back swing. Um, our trunk has to rotate, and our hips help facilitate that. So yeah. that those are the three things that we're looking at here. Absolutely. Now, with let's talk about the trunk and the shoulders. A lot of you will probably at some point experience this feeling of a knot, a knot in your back, like you feel something straight through, but somewhere around here. Yeah. So something like in this area, right? That it just feels like a giant or little ball, but it's super annoying. And you feel like maybe you need to massage it or use a golf ball, a cross ball, something like that. But it's not the tissue that that's the issue here. Yes, you might feel it there and it might feel like it's in the muscle, but what we really want to target is what's called the shoulder complex. So we have your shoulder joint, which is right here. That's called the glenohumeral joint. But the shoulder, shoulder is made up of multiple tissues and joints, this is only one of them. The shoulder complex is also your shoulder blade and all the muscles in the back, like your rotator cuff, as well as muscles in the front, 
like your your pecs, your pec minor, your deltoids, and some of those muscles. So this exercise is really going to target some of that, including a muscle you probably have never heard of called your serratus anterior. Hmm. Um, <laughs> in physical therapy school, they uh, joked around that they called it the sexy muscle because uh, when people would you flex, know, you'd see flex, that. you'd see the the serratus anterior lines yep. on their on their chest. Um, also called a boxing muscle because mm -hmm. it protracts the scapula, which is what we're looking at here in, into our warm up. Protraction, great word. Let's talk about that. Show them why that's that's important for this. Good. In our backswing, um, we need to rotate back, but it's hard to get our full range of motion if our shoulders are pinched backwards mm -hmm. or retracted. So uh, if I retract my shoulders and try to rotate, I feel very locked up and restricted. Yep. So what we need to do as we rotate back, this shoulder, this lead shoulder is really into protraction. Mm -hmm. It's forward a little bit, and that clears some room to allow the club to go into, in, into its full backswing. Yeah, absolutely. And if you have trouble maintaining that straight lead arm, uh, you feel like your elbow is breaking a lot of times, or one of the reasons, and we'll cover more in future videos, so make sure you subscribe for those. But if you don't have good clearance of the shoulder, like Corey was just saying, with that protraction, it's hard to maintain that elbow. So it's more likely to break as you rotate more because you inherently want to rotate more to generate more momentum and force going through. So this warm up starts to get your nervous system and your body kind of uh, primed to have a better overall rotation. So that's step one for this uh, warm up routine. We hinge forward kind of into a golf stance, uh, maybe a little bit further down. And our first motion here, I like to teach people to retract first, just so you can feel the difference mm -hmm. between pulling back and pushing forward at the scapulothoracic joint. So that's retract and then protract first. So that's, that's where we're beginning. And then we can begin to rotate and then come back down. Yep, so as Corey's doing this, keep an eye on his shoulders. He's maintaining that protracted state. He's not pulling back. He's rotating while the shoulders and the shoulder blades are shifted forward and tilted forward a little bit. And as he's doing more and more, you're starting to see more and more rotation that's happening. And then you could also see his legs. His legs are integrating some of that pelvic tilt and shift that you should have with your weight shift, not leaning into that back leg, but rotating around that sacrum like we talked about in the video that we'll link above. What are you feeling as you're doing it? I actually feel my muscles working. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel uh, a lot of my posterior muscles on my back here helping me to rotate. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's more work than it looks. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, to, yeah. To actually um, protract and hold that there as you rotate around. Uh, yeah. But then, as like you said, you could see, if, or at least I felt like I was rotating a little bit more each time. Yeah. Which will definitely help in the golf swing. Absolutely. So the next part of that is work into your other rotation right as you have a back swing into your swing itself and then finishing that swing at the other end of it so you almost create a pendulum right so if Corey gets back into that setup he did those rotations he'll rotate again into the back swing and then he swings through all the way around which also helps clear your club at impact so i would go both ways but break it into two separate parts first do how we started into that back swing do a bunch of repetitions. Give yourself two to three minutes, right? That, that, that's, your, that's your limit before your friends start to roll their eyes at you. Let, let your friends tee off first. Yeah, exactly. Let them tee off first and then hit that bomb 310 <laughs> down the fairway. Um, not guaranteed to hit 310, but <laughs> you have a better shot at it if you warm up this way. Um, I, I think the biggest secondary benefit is how much it unloads your low back. Because if you don't have good rotation, if this isn't rotating, then your body will inhale want to rotate a little bit lower and that's what a lot of you are doing and while so many golfers have low back pain potentially there's a lot of reasons for it but this is one of those when you don't have good upper back rotation and mobility your lower back will compensate for that yeah the body's pretty good at compensating to get the job done and mm -hmm. if, if without proper um, warm-up or even facilitation of what we're trying to accomplish in a golf swing Sometimes the body's just like, oh, you want to get your club from back here, back down to here? Okay, we'll just do that yeah. however means necessary. Yep. So 
If you found that helpful, let us know, subscribe, um, try it out. Again, do a bunch of repetitions. You, the coolest thing about this exercise, this warm up, is you feel good right away. You feel a lot looser pretty quickly. Uh, your body adapts to it. And then when your swing happens, whether it's at the driving range or the tee box, it just feels freer and you can actually unload and use your hips a little bit more because your, your trunk is ready to go. So if you enjoyed that, go ahead, subscribe, hit like, let us know what you think. Uh, we're going to talk more about back pain. We kind of give you a little, a little uh, teaser here about low back pain. We know a lot of golfers deal with low back pain, whether you're Tiger Woods or not. <laughs> it is a, a common issue because uh, it's golf is so much torque. It requires so much torque on your muscles and your spine. So we'll cover that. Make sure you subscribe to catch that. And um, I think that's it. Yeah. Tune in next time. We'll more catch golf you again. videos coming soon. So many more golf videos. Wish us luck on our rounds. Mm. I'll need it.